All right, check this one out. A subscriber dropped this one off. It's 1998 Honda Four Tracks, four x four. Does not run. It's registered. It's really, really muddy, dirty. But uh, basically he said that he installed a new CDI because it didn't have spark. And he said when you plug in the new CDI, it um, it smoked from the CDI. So we were gonna try to figure out why that's happening. And um, try to get this thing to run today. So we're gonna pressure wash it first, because it's just really dirty. <laughs> so I'll get this pressure wash and then we'll start working on it. All right, we're gonna start with soap. We're just gonna soap the whole thing. Let it sit for a little bit and then uh, pressure wash the rest of it off. There's just a bunch of mud on the fenders. Don't really feel like cleaning it up out of my shop. Alright, we got the Honda all pressure wash here. Now the grime is off of it at least, so things aren't coated in mud anymore. So, it looks like up here is the culprit. I think we might have to take off these plastics to see a little bit better. But you can see that's disconnected right there because that was smoking. So the owner did say that was an aftermarket CDI in there, so that could be causing problems as well. Let's take a look underneath the seat. See what's going on. There's the battery. All right, we're looking for any shorts in the system, any grounds that are failing, stuff like that. So right away, it looks like it's missing the the fuse right there. At least a couple of them. Let's see what's in here for a fuse. There's a fuse in here. So let's just see what happens when we hook up everything and let's just see if it runs because maybe the CDI isn't fried, but that battery is fried. I mean, there's just no way that's working with the cap off like that. <laughs> so I think the battery is definitely fried here. So let's get a new battery in there. All right, we've got the battery hooked up. The battery's charged completely. Let's see if anything turns on here. All right, nothing turned on. The lights turn on? Lights do not work. <laughs> All right, um, that's interesting. No lights work at all.
All right, looks like electric start works. Neutral light doesn't work. Nothing else works, no lights work. But it looks like the start button works. All right, so at least we've got something working. Let's go down by the neutral light and just see what's going on there. All right, so on these older Honda models, the neutral light's right underneath this thing right here. There's two wires for uh, reverse and neutral underneath there. And uh, we'll check that after we check for spark because I think the neutral light needs to light up for spark. But we'll confirm once we look for spark here. So let's get that spark plug out of there. All right, that was already kind of off of it. That boot was off of it. Let's get that nice and tight on there. All right, what kind of plug is in there? Looks like a newer plug. There we go. All right, looks like it was running good, nice and brown at the tip. That. Sorry for the lawnmower in the background too. Seems like every Thursday they're cutting grass over by me. All right, let's check for spark. Hopefully we have something here. Otherwise we, we might have to check with the neutral wire. See what's going on there. Let's just see if we've got anything here. spark whatsoever. All right, that's not good. <laughs> Do we have any spark from the wire here? Spark directly from the wire. Let's go check out that neutral wire. All right, you guys can kind of see the plate here. Taking that off, and it should be right behind there. Plate, possibly. All right, there should be two wires behind here. The reverse and the neutral. It's hard to fish them out of here. Not right here. Get pliers and pull those out. There we go. So these two wires right there. Those look good. No grime in there at all. Those look really good actually. So we just gonna plug those right back in. All right, so the neutral wires check out. The machine is in neutral. Everything checks out there. What's kind of suspicious to me is that all the lights are blown. That kind of tells me that the voltage must have been really high to break all the bulbs because there is a battery in here. So the voltage spiked and that's not common. So if the voltage regulator rectifier was working properly, it wouldn't spike over 14 volts and therefore the lights wouldn't burn out. So I'm thinking it's the voltage regulator rectifier, which I believe is right there. So I'm thinking that's the culprit, just because all the lights are burnt out. And if I go over here, I'm testing the, the, um, the blue and the green wire going to the lights, and then I have the lights on, we're getting 12 volts. So I know there's power going to the lights. So when he, when he ran it, it must have spiked voltage and burnt the CDI out, burnt the lights out, and probably fried the battery as well. I'm guessing the battery was smoking because it was charging the battery so much. And usually when these break, it shoots up past that 14 volts and everything is shot, typically. So I'm thinking that's probably what happened. There's really no way to test because we can't run the machine. Um, we could test the stator to make sure that's still good, but there's really no way to test the voltage regulator, I don't think. 
I'll look it up, but I'm pretty sure that's just like the CDI. You know, if you get to that point and it's not charging, you just replace the, the, the rectifier. But, um, yeah, I guess we can turn it over and just see what kind of voltage we're getting out of it. But yeah, so, so far the lights do work. It's just the bulbs are burnt out. However, the backlight is not burnt out. That's on. So that's really weird too. <laughs> what the heck? So all the lights didn't burn out, the back one didn't. Which is very strange. All right, we got the CDI out. The brand is 1PZ. Typically this is a little bit better brand than the China brand. I think it's still China, but it's a little bit better I've found. They usually work pretty well. So I, I don't think it was a CDI. I'm thinking it's the voltage regulator causing problems. So that looks brand new to me. I wonder if this is even burnt up. None of the wires are burnt or anything. Doesn't look like it's burnt up too bad. But it must be if we don't have any spark, unless the stator got burnt. Alright, so here's the pickup coil right here. This is the wire that leads to the pickup coil. So there's a blue with a white stripe one, and then a yellow one and a green one. Green is ground. So what we're going to do is test the blue and white one. It should have, let's see here. We have 290 um, to 360 ohms when we test that, so let's just see. Alright, so that's perfect. So that tests out. Then the yellow wires are already tested. Um, we're looking for 0.09 to 0.1 ohms between the yellow wires and those I'll check out. So I don't think it's a stator. Those I'll check out good. Alright, so a little update on this. So when I turn the key on, We've got the kill switch in the um, position here. Let's get the uh, middle position. So when I turn the key on here, check out the spark plug. If you watch that closely, we'll turn the key on. I don't know where my start button went actually. Okay, watch this. We'll turn the key on. There we go. See that spark one time? Then you turn the key back off, then you turn it back on. See how it sparks like that? Turn the key back off, turn it back on. sparks. So there's like something wrong with like a ground or something if you look. Because when I went to test the kill switch here, which is the switch right there, these two wires right here should not have continuity between them, and they do. When the ignition is on, with it off, it doesn't. So I know that the kill switch here is working. I think the one up here is not. So I think this one's grounding out. It's not actually letting the machine turn on. At least one of the wires. And I think it's the... the brown and black or the the black and white so we'll see I might tear this down and just kind of see what the um, ignition is plugged into and just clean those those wires up a bit All right. so I had the quad turned on we had the problem with the white and black wire um, seemed to go away when I took the CDI off so I'm guessing it's probably something with the CDI. But then this thing started making a whining noise. It was like, like that. So I unplugged it, that went away. But it's getting really, really warm. So something is not working correctly with this thing. 
I don't know if the wires are going into it wrong or if there's a ground wire that's not supposed to be ground going into this the wrong way. Something's not working. But it's only when you turn on the ignition, so it's got to be something weird. But we still get that one consistent spark every time you shut off and turn off the machine. Alright, so I suspect it's the CDI again and uh, it could possibly be the rectifier. So what we're going to do is order up a new CDI, install that, start it up, and we'll test the regulator rectifier um, to see if the battery's charging up too high. So if it's going like over 16 volts, we know it's that problem right there, the regulator rectifier. So we'll look into it some more. I'll order up a cheap CDI, plug it in quick. If we can start it up, we can test the regulator rectifier and um, that will kind of determine what it is. But if we don't have spark with the new CDI, I'm guessing it's the stator or like something with the flywheel. Maybe it's just like weak magnets or something. The new CDI is coming in like a week, so we'll have to take a week break, then we'll come back and uh, we'll figure this thing out. All right, so I just got the new CDI. This one's the old one I just took off. And I just plugged in the new one. Down here, right there, you can see. Vinny, you gonna help me out? Let's see if we've got spark now. <laughs> And then what we're going to do, if we do have spark, is start it up. And then we'll see if that voltage regulator is working. Because I'm, I'm kind of suspicious of the voltage regulator. Because the light's all blue. So I'm guessing the voltage spikes, wrecks the CDI, wrecks all the light bulbs. And then it, uh, yeah, probably just shuts off because it doesn't have spark anymore. Let's see if it's got spark here now. Alright, here we go. spark so the CDI fixed the spark problem but why does the CDI keep on smoking I'm thinking it's the voltage regulator so what we're gonna do is get a volt meter on the battery and then we'll read what the battery says when we start up the machine so we'll start up the machine get the reading if it's above like 14 volts we know that the voltage regulator which is right there is not working all right, right now the battery is reading 12.4 volts when the machine is not started. So let's start up the machine if we can, and then we'll see what that reading is. If it goes above 14, 14.5, and it shoots up to like 16 when we rev it, we know it's the voltage regulator. to 15.1 I think that's a little high so it might be the voltage regulator I'm gonna look it up and see what it's supposed to be at I thought it was supposed to stay around 14 all right looking at this forum here it says um, for this particular machine you should see voltage rise above 12 to 14 volts this indicates your battery is charging if you see the voltage climb above 14.5 volts Shut it down and replace the regulator rectifier um, because the regulator side of the unit is fried. So we are getting 15.2 and I'm guessing as we warm it up it'll climb to like 16. So so I think it's definitely the voltage regulator rectifier causing the problem causing the smoking problem of the CDI. So we're going to order that up and then see if that fixes the problem. Alright, look what came in the mail. The new regulator rectifier. 
Let's go install this on the four wheeler over here. What is that noise they hear over here? Someone eating? <laughs> oh, he's chowing down. All right, so it's right in there. All right, let's try to get that off of here. Looks like a couple 10 millimeters are holding it on. That one's stripped out. That one's not. All right, we have the red and the green wire hooked up and then the yellow one over here. Let's see what we get for a bolt reading. Let it warm up for a little bit. It hasn't hit over 14 yet. And uh, if it hits over 14.5, um, supposedly it doesn't work, so. All right, it's staying under 14. Before it was 15.2, I believe, so. I think we're gonna be good to go. All right, cool. Does not go over 14.5 volts, so the voltage regulator rectifier was the fix. So let's go ride it around for a bit and uh, see if we fix the problem. There's Jade. <laughs> With naughty boy. Georgie. And there's the other one. Vinny. <laughs> oh. Jeez, dude. <laughs> naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> Let's see Georgie once. Come over here. <laughs> what do you think, George? Do you like Vin yet? That answers that question. Yeah. All right, let's see if this thing works now. So we're gonna keep an eye 
on the CDI up here. Hopefully it doesn't smoke. Alright, turn the gas to on here. Let this thing warm up for a little bit. So far so good, it's still running. <laughs> Let's go through the woods over here. Go this way. Chilly morning this morning. It's gotta be like 55 degrees. Fall is coming. Go over here. We'll check on it, see what it's doing. This is gonna kind of feel the CDI. It's, it's really, really cold, so that's good. It's not heating up at all. Let's see if reverse works on this thing. Oh yeah. This thing is really smooth actually. Go a little faster, see if we can get the RPMs up. Check on it now. Make sure it's not getting hot. Nope, still really cold. Well, that's good. All right, first drive on this thing, first test drive. Probably took it for about 15 minutes. And uh, the CDI stayed cold the whole time. No smoking from the CDI. Thing is running great. No issues whatsoever with this thing, so. I call that fixed. It was the voltage regulator all along. So if your machine smokes at the CDI, it's most likely the voltage regulator not regulating that voltage. <laughs> and uh, that's what caused the lights to, to blow as well. 
but a lot of people in the comments of, of forums and stuff say that don't use the crappy CDIs and stuff, they don't work. But what I really think happens is the CDI isn't the issue. I think it's the voltage regulator and people don't realize that and they blow them up instantly. So, um, the CDI that I used was, they bought the same brand, but it was 1PZ and that seemed to work. And then the voltage regulator I used was just a really cheap one from Amazon. So, I mean, it works out great. I think the voltage regulator was like 25 bucks or something, so. It uh, turned out to be a pretty easy fix on this one. A lot of diagnostics, but pretty easy. We tested the stator right away, and that checked out good, so that's kind of what made me think of the voltage regulator. And that's really the only possibility besides the CDI, which we got brand new, so. Yep, well, this one's fixed. Going back to the owner, hopefully they're happy. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one. And until next time, we...